Welcome to the screencast session on Kubernetes Native API Management. Create and deploy APIs with WSO2 APK. APK stands for API Platform for Kubernetes. And during the session, we will walk through how to expose your microservices as managed APIs using WSO2 APK. We'll see how to do this the Kubernetes native way. My name is Pubadu Gunatilaka. I'm a senior technical lead at WSO2. I'll be your host for this session. Let's take a look at an innovative AI powered health and wellness coach application. This application uses two microservices. One collects health data and the other provides personalized recommendations. To integrate them seamlessly with the mobile application, we need to expose them as APIs. Let's dive into the details of this process. This is how the setup looks like. We will deploy WSO2 APK and microservices in the Kubernetes environment. In our sessions flow, we start by deploying WSO2 APK and microservices in Kubernetes. WSO2 APK provides two methods for API creation, utilizing APK conf and leveraging Kubernetes custom resources. For the health data microservice, we'll use APK conf generating the configuration from the microservices open API definition. For the wellness recommendation microservice, we'll create an API using Kubernetes custom resources generated by presenting APK conf to WSO2 APK. Let's explore this process in detail. You can find the demo artifacts in this repository. I have listed down all the required commands for our demo. First, let's install WSO2 APK in Kubernetes. Using the helm command, you can install APK on Kubernetes. We can verify the installation by inspecting the pods. In order to access the URLs, let's add these entries to etc host. Now let's deploy the two microservices. Now let's start creating our first API, the health data API using the APK conf approach. To do this, we'll generate a sample APK conf using the open API definition of the health data microservice. Let me copy this command. This is our open API definition. You can copy this content to a file called health service apk conf. So I have created this file here. The apk configuration file contains essential API metadata, security settings, rate limiting details, and other vital information. This serves as a singular point for defining your API. The next step is to deploy the API in APK. In order to do that, we need to have an access token as the API deployment service is secure. You can use this command to generate an access token. In the default APK installation, it has a non-production identity provider to issue access token. In the production scenarios, you can plug with a production grade identity provider. You can see the generated access token here. Let me copy that. You can use this command to deploy the API. Here you need the APK configuration file which you created in the previous step and also you need the open API file of the service as well. You can replace this token from this. Now the API is successfully deployed. Let's check in the Kubernetes environment. This is your API. You can get more information about the API using the describe command. Now let's try to invoke the API. You can use this command. 
here you can replace the token with the success token which you gathered in the previous steps as you can see we got a successful response on the backend service the next step is to deploy an api for the wellness recommendation microservice in this scenario we explore the second option where you can create an api using the kubernetes custom resources similar to the previous scenario we also need to generate the apk con for this api let's create the apk con using the open api definition of the microservice you can copy the content into a file called wellness recommendation service apk con let's generate kubernetes custom resources for the api for this we need to have the apk con file which you just created and the definition file which is the open api file of the microservice this will output a zip file let's unzip this you can find the generated kubernetes custom resources for the api you can do any modification and apply the changes in kubernetes to deploy the api now you can list down the api in kubernetes now let's invoke the api you can replace the token here with an access token you created in the previous step the wellness recommendation microservice has written a successful response in the demonstration we explored into two methods of api creation the initial option involves utilizing apk con to create the apis which is particularly beneficial for local development this method streamlines api testing with fewer steps on the other hand the second approach involves employing kubernetes custom resources to create apis this proves more beneficial when establishing a gtops based workflow for api deployment here a declarative approach allows you to define and promote apis seamlessly across various environments thanks for tuning into the screencast video throughout this session we explored into creation of apis for the microservices using wso2 apk exploring two distinct approaches if you have any questions or need any clarification don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section your engagement is truly appreciated thank you once again for your time and attention stay tuned for more exciting content